Today I'm going to be using Netscape Navigator 9 in 2023. Now this is just a demonstration, and I'm probably just going to make a universal demo with a set of sites that I'm going to test. But this is just a video about me just having fun using Netscape Navigator. If you want to see the video that in which I installed this program on this computer, check out the extra channel where I where I installed it. And, and in case you were wondering, this computer is the HP Compact 605 Pro. So as you can clearly see, a lot of software has been put on here. I'll also point out... Okay, never mind. Less time doing a little bit too much rambling. Anyway, we're gonna go see if we can get 10 websites to work on here. With this... Open up Netscape Navigator. And do I have other browsers to test this with or compare Netscape to? No. This is the last version of Netscape, and it was from like 2007. Well, yeah, anyway, you can see there's a security warning. You have to pretty much have to wait until this it effectively gets you through all of these security warnings and alerts. Some of which, when you don't get the option to be alerted whenever that happens, you just have to deal with that. It's a problem with a lot of old browsers. So let's see. Then yeah, alert. Netscape can, you know, Navigator can connect securely to s.allcdn.com because site uses a security protocol which isn't enabled. Literally, the main alert that shows up with all of these old browsers. It's annoying. I'm used to it because I've used all uh, this browser before. Just do this. Hit enter continuously. Just do that until that disappears. So now we're going to go to bookmarks and go to our first target. Accept this certificate permanently. Let's go to our first subject. No, we're just going to accept this certificate permanently. Open this interview tab. Let's see what happens when we try to connect to even. Huh. Did I speak too soon? Uh, oh, wait. Oh, so it turns out I can't get onto eBay. Let's see if we can get onto Wikipedia. That doesn't work either. Go into Bing. The server was, ah, uh, just like I was probably gonna expect. Yeah, I can't connect to Bing. So we've already got like two websites that won't work. Well, let's try Amazon. Except temporarily, that except. So somehow he, um. I'm just going to. Baba Booey. Ah, bruh. I do not know what any of these. Okay, something tells me that with a lot of these things, I don't even know what they are. I'm just going to end the task before I do something stupid. Start new session, thank you. I'm, first time that's I've seen that. So Amazon does load, but it seems a little sketchy. And you get direct internet history. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's go see if the Dell website will load. Because, well... Uh, nope. NVIDIA. Pretty sure this is gonna have some sort of thing. Open link in new tab. NVIDIA doesn't work. So yeah, you can kind of get an idea of how useless Netscape is. I'm going to go open up a new tab, go to this, give you a bit of an idea of how, well, YouTube will work. <coughs> but yeah, it doesn't work. We go look up the Internet Archive. It 
It does look like it's going to load, but it doesn't. Now, last but not least, let's go see if Auto Trader will work. This is the website I haven't used in quite a bit of time. Nope. That gives you an idea. You can't even get a car. You can't even look for cars on this thing. But anyway, this is a website that does work, though. The Netscape homepage. That introduced you to Netscape. But yeah, this is the only website that works. And there you go, in case you were wondering. Netscape. Navigator. based off of Firefox to... There you go. So with that, thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!